Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this time, let's see how to convert one of my packages, this time the jungle package, from high definition render pipeline to the universal render pipeline. My package were made to be used mainly in high definition render pipeline. But now there is an easy way to convert to the universal render pipeline. Okay, we were going to use in this case for this tutorial the Unity version 2021. And okay, let's get started. Let's go to the package manager. Okay, to import the asset, uh, I totally recommend use the release 3.1 to before to convert, we can update or if we are using the package from the RStation marketplace, we can go to import package and custom package and just select the the asset. I'm going to cancel this because I already have the, the package imported here. Um, let's go to the package manager again to talk about the vegetation engine because I totally recommend this asset with my with my package uh, this asset contains presets to use with seed mesh assets so you will have no problem using this asset at the time you are converting the package to any pipeline not just to URP you can convert to any unity pipeline so if you pretend to use in building, I totally recommend use this asset. Okay, let's let's import some assets here to the sample scene. And now we must go to the shader graph folder here in the package to transform the shaders. Uh, let's start transforming the vegetation shader. Just double click on the asset. And now here in the graph inspector, we need to add uh, an active target for universal render pipeline. Right now it only uses the HD from high definition. Let's just add the universal and save the asset. Let's go and now it must be rendering our textures, but we need to add the alpha. So let's go again to the window and let's check these boxes from the alpha and to side it. That's the way the vegetation need to be rendered. And let's save the asset. Now our vegetation must be rendering correctly. Okay, now let's go and change the vegetation from this plan. This plan is a basic vegetation shader. Let's go and add a universal target and check the boxes. And that's it. Okay, now let's go for the rocks. We use this, this mouse shader for the rocks that help me to set mouse on the objects. We don't need alpha or two sided. And that's it just adding the universal target. Let's go now to this static object. We have this static object uh, shader. We need to add just half of this one. And that's it, just adding the universal target and the alpha. That's it. We need the alpha because there are some static objects that use the alpha, this one. And that's it. We just need to transform the shader from the water. Let's place the the plane here. Let's go to the sea water shader and add the universal. For this one, let's change the surface type from opaque to transparent. Okay, now let's go just save the asset. And now everything must be fine.
Okay, now let's talk about the, the demo scene. Uh, let's go to the scene folder here in the package and let's double click to the groups demo. That is the demo from the release 3.0. Okay, um, our scene must be rendering something like this because this scene is using the lighting post-processing and render settings from the high definition render pipeline so we need to modify that and to do this let's go and generate a new empty object here in the scene Okay, let's name it Demo Scene Universal Render Pipeline. And let's take all the environment and move to the object and also the terrain. And from the lighting object, let's take the light props. Okay, and that must be everything. And now I will go to this folder and we are going to save this this object as a whole prefab, prefab. So it's gonna take a while because it's going to be a big prefab. But I'm looking here at these big objects. Let's go and change the shader, let's use this static object shader and just let's set the normal and the mask here. Okay, now it looks fine. Let's go and take the, the object and let's save it here as a new prefab. Okay, now we are here in the sample scene of Unity again, and also we have the prefab of whole this, the whole scene, and what we are going to do is use the post-processing and render settings from this demo scene um, with the prefab that we just made. Let's go and import here the prefab. Okay, now it looks fine. It is rendering, but looks like it also has some problems. And this is just the terrain that is not rendering. And that is because the terrain is not using. Uh, material from universal render pipeline this is using the material from the high definition let's go here quickly and generate a new material i will i will name it terrain urp and now let's choose universal render pipeline terrain and lead the shader and now just let's place the material here into the terrain okay now the terrain is rendering pretty nice now something that we should do is change the skybox that will help to to improve the lighting of the scene. So let's go to the sky folder here into environment and let's create a new material. Let's name it sky 
ERP. And now going here to Universal Render Pipeline. Um, sorry, it's not here. It's here in the Skybox. And going to Cube Map, we can grab this sky and set here into the material. Now let's let's to the lighting window environment and. Let's set the sky here. So now the, the demo scene is looking much better. Okay, now our scene is looking fine, and we can use it. We can use it here in URP, but we can do better with this. Uh, adding adding a new a new object. I'm going to name it reflections. What I'm going to do is add a reflection probe to remove these weird reflections from the ground and also from the vegetation. Okay, uh, now we just need to go to lighting and all the assets are prepared for lighting, so let's go just and click Generate Lighting. Now our scene is looking much better with those reflection props, but we have these planes, and those planes are using some shaders from high definition. We can simply use an universal render pipeline and lead shader. Let's take this cloud uh, textures, textures the base color normal map, and let's change to transparent. And now our scene must be rendering nice here in Universal Render Pipeline. Thanks for watching.